Stanford University. I asked and I paused that before we start the class, does anyone have any questions? And I looked around the table, I saw a bunch of skeptical faces, and one woman raised her hand, and keep in mind this is nine years ago, I had just joined the faculty and started teaching at Stanford. She looked at me skeptically and said, yeah, I have a question. What are you, 16 years old? <laughs> So you might think I relate this story as a way of saying, the diff saying something about the difficulty of teaching at Hope House, but actually to the contrary. Because when she said that, I knew immediately that this would be an exciting class. I mean, that the liberal arts really has something to offer everyone, all of us. And having all of us at the table has really changed the way that um, I teach and I think about my work. I had never thought about Plato's Republic as a story about drug addiction and overcoming drug addiction before. I never thought that Kant's you know, writings on lives had to do with the three strikes law mm -hmm. and what to do when you're confronted with unjust circumstances. Is it ever justified to lie? We were able to dive right into the issues. Nothing we said was accorded any special degree of authority. <laughs> And as a consequence, discussion was a lot better. <laughs> now, I don't want you to think that um, teaching at Hope House is an effort in sort of miracle working all the time and that there are these profound transformations um, going on all the time. I uh, hope I'm not stealing one of Deborah's lines, but Deborah tells a story about how after having tried to read Plato and other the things that we assigned, one of the women announced that rather than keeping on with the course, she would actually prefer to go back to prison. <laughs> Always a humbling experience to be told something like that. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.